Hey y'all, welcome back to Salty Sunday. Today we've got two new videos to watch. It seems like that's Amberlynn's new schedule of uploading is two videos a week. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of miss when she used to do daily vlogging and daily uploads. But anyway, let's get started. Our first video is called How I Feel About My Exes, Monthly Weight Update, and Huge Trader Joe's Haul Vlog. And it was uploaded on April 4th, 2024. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the look. We're looking very disheveled, very much like we just got out of bed. No makeup. We do have earrings in though, so I'm guessing she didn't just wake up. I don't know. Looking kind of tired. Probably something's wrong with the sleep schedule. Let's continue. I know I have not been uploading lately. My bad. I'll do better. It's just like in the past, especially when I've done like daily vlogging or daily uploading, I would just say and film any little thing, but I just like don't do that now. But y'all have been asking for more content, so I need to figure out like, how am I going to make more content for y'all? Because y'all want it, so I want to give it to you guys. Give it to us, girl. <laughs> Um, is anyone else curious about how she's spending her days? Like, we haven't heard about any Legos. We're not seeing any, like, trips to the Dollar Tree. I'm just curious what she's doing all day. Anyways, I'm actually about to do my hair and do my makeup. Okay, hi. I am ready. Ah, okay. That's why she was looking disheveled. Okay, looks like we've got a new placement on the face gems or... I don't know if those have like a certain name. I don't know what it is, but um, I kind of like it better than when the two were right next to each other. It kind of gives like the appearance of a piercing, which is kind of cute. But yeah, she looks um pretty much the same as usual. And I just filmed a couple TikToks. I'm trying to do like daily Q&As on Instagram as well, just to like correspond more with my audience. And plus you guys always have so many questions and I don't mind answering them. By the way, I took my nails off because one fell off. And that is the first time that's happened since I got them, started getting them done months ago. But it just like came off and my brain said, I'm not fixing to have nine nails and one missing. So I just took them all off. Girl, there's this thing. Let me introduce you to it. It's called nail glue. You could have just glued the one back on that came off, but whatever. I'm not sure what I'm getting them done again, but I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm debating between two colors. I can't decide. Went to Trader Joe's, so I'm going to do a haul when I get home. Okay, you guys, so I just got home. I went to Trader Joe's. So we definitely have some hauling to do. So this is like a grocery haul moment. Okay, get excited, people. We love Trader Joe's and we love a good Trader Joe's haul. It was actually the first time that I have been in Trader Joe's here in Oklahoma and I loved it. It was in like the cutest little spot. Genuinely, it was giving such good vibes. Oh my God, I totally think Trader Joe would have been such a cute girly pop. He gives off such good vibes. So let's start with the first bag. I just got some eggs because I like to have eggs in the morning. And before anyone says anything, yes, this is processed food. Every single time I do a Trader Joe's haul, people always say that. And I'm just like, yeah, um, I don't go there often. But when I do, it's like I, I stock up on like the things that I really like from there. Listen, I'm not going to hate on her for eating processed food. I feel like just about all of us eat some form of processed food. Let's just see what she picked out. It doesn't even matter. I'm counting calories, losing weight, and that's all that matters. So I got these snacky clusters. It's sea salt, potato chips, corn chip dippers, mini pretzel nuggets mixed in milk chocolate. So excited to try that. Oh, I kind of feel like that might be a trigger food for her. Like, I don't know if she's going to be able to eat just one serving of those. I got some of these sour cream and onion flavored rings, lentil and rice snacks. Again, another food that I feel like she's not going to be able to just eat one serving of, but I don't know, maybe she's got it in her calories where she can eat the whole bag if she wants. I got some olives. This is stuffed olives. It's garlic and jalapeno. I needed some soy sauce. So I hope I like the soy sauce because they didn't have like my favorite brand of soy sauce, which is totally fine. I mean, do different soy sauces taste that different? I don't know. And then I really wanted like a pasta sauce, which they didn't have what I normally have because Trader Joe's doesn't have stuff like that. But there is a pasta sauce that I have been having, but I decided I'm gonna try something different. This is a spicy pasta sauce. So excited to try it that. All right, on to the second bag. I got some of their mashed potatoes, which I love. I got two things of 
vegetable panning curry with jasmine rice. I also love these. I love literally everything that I got, honestly. I'm seeing a lot of carbs here, girl, but if you say it's in your calorie limit, go for it. Um, I've never had this, which I'm sure I will love it. Cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. I know that I'm pronouncing that wrong, so come for me, come for me. I already know what's happening. Um, I also got some Brussels sprouts. Y'all remember that one time Amberlynn tried Brussels sprouts? I'm gonna try a Brussels sprout first because I don't really like Brussels sprouts that much, so. Not bad. I got two things of the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. I got a bag of the chicken gyoza pot stickers. Love, I am, mm, chef's kiss. Got a thing of some chana masala. I've never had this. I have had it from like uh, Indian restaurants, but I've never tried it from there, so I'm excited to try it. I got some peppered salami. Salami can be triggering for me, but I'm hoping I have it under control. And if I don't, I know to just never buy these again. Another trigger food. Oh, yeah. I hope she um, I hope she got some other food besides all of this. So, yeah. And then I also got some ground turkey. All right. So the final bag here. I got some of these rice cracker medleys. It's a mix of baked rice crackers flavored with soy sauce, salt, and vinegar, and chili with spicy green peas. I personally love stuff like this. So, yum. And then I got some of these mochi rice nuggets and these are spicy. I'm excited to try those. Man, she really went wild on the rice products, didn't she? Um, she got some frozen dinners with rice. She got some rice nuggets, rice crackers. And hey, I mean, that's fine, but just seems like a lot of carb heavy snacks. I just got some broccoli here, some pulled pork tamales. I like making these in the air fryer. It's just mini chicken tacos. I got some Thai vegetable gyoza. If you guys remember, then you know. Did that make sense? I got two of these mac and cheeses, which I really like. And then I got some of these salami sticks. I got three packs of them, which is six of them. Um, this is what it looks like. I was like, okay, I want to try those. So she got six two packs of salami plus that big bag. And she just said this is a trigger food for her. I feel like that's a bad sign. I got some of these turkey meatballs. If you guys know, then you know. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with those as well. And then the last thing I got are these Buffalo style chicken poppers. So now I have to put everything away. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so here's my thoughts on the grocery haul. I feel like there's a lot of people who assume that Trader Joe's food is all healthy food, which yeah, a lot of it is better than what you'd find at maybe like Walmart, but that doesn't mean that it's good for someone who's trying to lose weight. I noticed she got a lot of snacks, a lot of carb heavy foods, like I said before, and I just feel like she's not gonna be able to stick to the portion size of those foods. I noticed in the videos from last week that she was was eating a lot of foods that were high in protein, low in carb. She was having meatballs and broccoli, salmon with salad, and the stuff she bought in this haul just kind of seems like more of like, I don't know, I don't want to say junk food, but like compared to what she was eating before, it kind of is. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think about it in the comments. Okay guys, so real quickly, I want to do a monthly update on how much weight I lost in March because I did it in January where I lost 7 pounds. I did it in February where I lost 9.2 pounds. And now March, how much did I lose? So I actually weighed in today at 489.6. So that means in the month of March, I lost exactly 10 pounds, which I'm very, very proud of. And I noticed I'm losing more and more weight each month. So it'd be cool if in April I lose 10.2 or more than that. So that could be like a cute little challenge. Let's hope that I even remember that I said that. Nope, nope, stop Amber. This is what I'm talking about. She'll be trucking along, doing fine, and then she'll say, maybe next time it'll be more. No, don't set yourself up for that. How about just maybe next time I have a loss. Also, I really feel like her losing it slowly the way that she is is very good for her. I think she's going to be able to keep it off longer and it's going to be more doable for her and something that she can stick with. But I'm just very proud of myself. Like I... <laughs> I'm doing the damn thing. I'm not stressing like too hard about it. And I think with the lack of like stressing about it, because normally like if I'm counting calories, I want to be like perfect and I want to eat the right things. Realistically, like it's not going to happen. Like 
You guys saw my haul today. As long as I stay below my calories right now, that is all that I am focused on. And I know eventually down the road, I'm gonna have to start eating healthier and switching things up that way. But right now what I'm doing is working for me and I'm just really happy about it. Okay, great. And I agree with her. If the staying under calories thing is working for her, keep doing that. I just worry that having all those snacks around, it's going to be really hard for her to stick to the portion sizes. I know I keep saying that. I'm sorry, but I really feel like it's going to be a problem. Okay, guys. So I did take off my shirt. <laughs> Don't mind that. So I opened these. I was about to try them and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do it for the vlog because what the heck is this for real, for real? Mochi rice nuggets. I don't know. They look like that. They're supposed to be crispy, crunchy, and spicy. But let's try it. Oh, I just looked um, in the camera. And a lot of people have been asking me lately how long it took me to actually get this in the mail. <laughs> and if you don't know what that's in reference to, that is because Foodie Beauty got her plaque in a very short amount of time and people are very suspicious of if it's real or not. But yeah, that's why. That's why people are asking her. And I think they're asking me because they're trying to catch Chantel in a lie, Beauty Beauty, because she also received hers. So to answer that question, I'll just post uh, when I opened it. So here it is. Hey you guys. So a lot of people have been asking me about this and I finally got it. I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm really shocked. I never imagined that I would ever reach this point but I did. So I want to show you guys what I just got. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay. It's from YouTube. Woo it says, you've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> I'm so entertaining. Honestly, I'm not going to shit on her. That is a huge accomplishment to hit 100,000 subscribers. But but to say every person that subscribed has been challenged, inspired, or entertained, mm, I don't know about that. We know that you don't do this for rewards. You do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you found an audience who cares. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Oh my God. I literally am shook it. Sorry, I'm in awe. Presented to Amberlynn Reed for passing 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember the day that I hit it. So many people were like, are you going to get the... I don't know if I want to take it out, to be honest. That is literally written on here. But yeah, a lot of people were like, are you going to get the um, silver thingy majigger? And I was just like, probably not because you have to like request it. And I just... I didn't think I deserved it, but then I was like, wait a minute, 100,000 subscribers is a lot. So I requested it and it came within like a week. Okay, first of all, if you want me to believe that Amber Lynn Reed considered not requesting the play button, I ain't buying it, girl. But second of all, we're talking about something that happened at least four years ago. And also Chantel lives in Kuwait. So I don't think we can compare the two stories, but who knows? So... Wow. And I just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, I know that my YouTube journey has been quite insane, as we all know, but I still have so many people who support me and message me and say kind things to me and like are there for me. And I appreciate that. And I literally would not still be doing YouTube videos if it wasn't for you guys. So I just want to say thank you. I mean, I think she is more liked than Chantel, so I'll give her that. So yeah, that was years ago. I remember getting this and I was so happy. Like it was just emotional. I just thank you guys so much. And now I have like 220K. Like what are you guys doing? You guys are amazing. Okay, well, let's try these though. I'm a little nervous. Of course you are. They smell like seasoning, like a spicy seasoning. They're crispy and crunchy. So, so far that's correct. I don't think I like it. I do like the texture. Mm-hmm. I love crunchy. So I feel like for some people, this would be spicy. There's a spice to it, but it just doesn't taste that great. So that was kind of a flop. Mm, something tells me you're still gonna eat them all. 
They did have ones that weren't spicy, so I feel like next time I go to Trader Joe's, I'm gonna try those. Or hear me out, miss, I like fruits more than I like vegetables. What if you tried a crispy, crunchy apple? Or some crunchy celery? Why does it always have to be processed snacks? You guys, I have had an absolute influx of people contacting me about my exes. One has a new girlfriend, one is married. People are assuming I am single, which I get it. People are also assuming I'm jealous and bitter. Literally, no. I want both of them to be happy. The way she can say that with a straight face when we know it's a lie, girl. I want them to move on from me and the relationships that we've had and they definitely have and I've also done the same thing. I am keeping things from you guys. Um, I do have a love life though, I very much do. I have talked about Valentine a little bit. I just wanna do things a little bit differently this time. You know, not just like bombard you guys right off the bat. She did the same thing with Beck and the same thing with Wifey. She said, I wanna keep it private. I don't wanna say much. Yeah, we see how well that worked out for both of those situations. Like, hi, you know, I have a new love interest. Like, I have talked about her. And it was before my ex got a girlfriend. It was before my ex got married. Because I'm over there on Instagram like, yeah, I do have, you know, a little love life going. And yes, I am actively in love right now. Just the way she words it makes me feel like it's a total lie. I am actively in love right now. When have you ever heard anyone say that? And the reason why I'm not talking about that in my videos and, like, bombarding you guys with that is because I do want to do things differently because... So much in the past, I've just like word vomited all my relationship stuff. And like with Feline, I very much learned how to be more like private. Amber, nothing about that relationship was private. I don't know who you're trying to kid. You told us her first name, her last name, where she was from, what she did for a living. People tracked her down. People saw pictures of her. I don't get where you think that it was private. And I'm not saying that this relationship is going to stay private. It's just very much I want to just like give you guys a little bit at a time because I'm still figuring out my stuff. Like this is still new for me. It's still new for her, but she's already in love. Which one is it, girl? Just know that I'm very happy and I'm also happy for my exes. I'm not some like jealous, bitter, crazy ex. Like that's literally not who I am. A bullshit? I know a lot of people like to assume that they know me and who I am and how I feel and how I react to things, but like, y'all aren't right. <laughs> no, no, guys, we don't know her at all. We've only been watching her spill her guts on camera for like the last 10 years, but we don't know her. And I don't mean that like in a negative way, but yeah, like we're all thriving in our own way. And I think that like, y'all, I've moved on. I just, I want you guys to do the same. We are all our own separate individuals living our own separate lives. And I just really truly think it's time. Just let me be me. And I no longer want to be like Destiny's ex or Becky's ex. Like I'm just not wanting that. Like I am at such a different space in my life, different era. Just who I am as a person is just so different. Yes, guys, she's so different. That's why she's spending like 10 minutes trying to convince us of it. I feel like I've lived multiple lifetimes, especially here on YouTube. Like, go look. I just, I have transformed constantly and I just feel like I am at my most like independent, happy, true self. And I'm enjoying learning more about myself. Like there are things that I definitely need to improve on though. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I really need to see a therapist for my borderline personality disorder. Like I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought I was better in that regard. Like it's not something that like you can just like heal from instantly. No, it takes years and years and years of like therapy. Did she seriously just say she thought you could heal from bipolar disorder? And girl, it doesn't take just years of therapy. You have that for life. It doesn't go away. And therapy will help you with it, but it's not going to cure you of it. But I thought that I saw improvement in myself. And like a situation happened recently where I'm just like, whoa, girly pop needs to go to therapy. <laughs> and that's something I can definitely like admit out loud is like, I need help. Ugh, I can't with the girly pop stuff, especially when we're talking about something so serious as mental health. Amberlynn, if you ever watch this, please do some research on bipolar disorder. It's not something that just goes away. You have it for life and you need to constantly be aware of where you're at mentally. Take your meds, 
go to therapy. It's just as important as your physical health. And I personally have never gone to therapy for a borderline personality disorder. I recently went to therapy and I had like over 22 visits with the same psychologist who I loved. He helped me tremendously, but I wasn't seeing her for borderline personality disorder, like as a whole. Listen, I've already said how I feel about this, but girl, if you were not getting any kind of help for your bipolar disorder, that is a problem. Please, please talk to someone about that. I mean, listen, I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to be a doctor. But if she thinks that her food addiction has nothing to do with her mental health and her bipolar disorder, then that says so much about why she's been unsuccessful in her diets. And now I need to find a therapist who specializes in that. And I am a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I'm totally just rambling right now. But yeah, I'm, you guys, I have my own life over here. Not sharing everything. One day I will. But like, I just want to take things slow and just do things different. But just know that I am happy. And I'm also happy for my exes. Like, I am capable of feeling that way. As much as some people don't believe it. But I do want to end this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Okay, wow. Well, that was a lot. That got very heavy at the end there. But the next video we're going to watch is called What I Eat on a Quote-Unquote Cheat Day. And it was uploaded April 6, 2024. And hopefully it's a little more lighthearted than the last one. I love watching her What I Eat in a Day videos. So let's go. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Okay, so as usual, we gotta talk about the look. I hate it. I cannot stand the stupid pigtails on top of her head. I don't know, maybe some people can rock it. I don't think she can. But the rest of her outfit and her makeup, it looks okay. So today I'm going to be filming a what I ate today video. So my goal usually is to stay below 2000 calories. But what has been helping me personally from overeating or just giving up in general, instead of like having a standard cheat day where normally in the past I would allow myself to literally eat everything under the sun that I absolutely wanted. And then that would spiral me for weeks and I could not get back on track. So what I do now instead, which I've done twice already and it has worked great because I have not messed up on my diet. I am still losing weight and I'm feeling really, really good. So what I've been doing is allowing myself to have like my own version of a cheat day. And what that means, I'm giving myself like a different calorie limit. So I want to stay below 2,500. Okay. I like that she's trying a new approach. This could possibly work for her. So usually by doing that, I don't lose weight the next day. I usually stay the same, but this has helped me so much with staying on track. So that is my goal for today. Stay below 2,500. This is my version of like a cheat day. If I did not allow myself to do this and I constantly thought about how bad I wanted to eat like this or that or extra things, that is when I binge. That is when I overeat. That is when I spiral for weeks on end. Okay, but I don't see how giving yourself an extra 500 calories is going to cure that. I mean, if you get like a craving for seafood boil or orange chicken, those extra 500 calories aren't really going to do anything for that. So I found like a perfect compromise in the middle and I figured today would be a really good day to show you guys what I eat on a day where it's kind of like a cheat day. So none of my meals are going to make sense. I'm not having like a standard breakfast today. I will be eating processed foods. I will be eating on camera. It's just like tons of disclaimers, but I'm just getting you guys ready for what you're about to see. Oh my God. Why does she sound so dramatic right there? What are we about to see, girl? I can safely say that I have not been on track this consecutively in years. It has been years. That is why I feel safe to show you guys like what I'm eating because I'm in the right head frame, mindset, whatever it may be. Just know that whatever you guys see me eat today is a vast improvement to like my standard way of eating and what made me at 1.572 pounds. All right, let's get into it. Okay, guys. So the first thing I'm going to have, which I cannot pronounce, is cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. So it says on the back of the bag, um for stove top to use some oil. So I'm gonna be measuring the oil um, using about half of a serving, which would be about 7.5 milliliters. So I'm gonna be cooking this. Wow, we're off to a wild start. Frozen pasta. In a pan. Okay, so I have half a serving of oil and this is how it looks frozen. Okay, you guys, so I'm finished and I cooked this down a lot. 
like a lot, a lot, because I like my food to be cooked. Wow, so quirky. She loves to eat food that is cooked. So a lot of the oil that was already originally in the sauce and plus the oil that I added is like still in the pan. But regardless, this is 930 calories. So on a day where I was trying to stick below 2000, I would not be eating this. And if I did choose to do so, I'd probably only have like half a serving with like a ton of broccoli or something. That bowl of pasta is 930 calories? Is that just like a really big bowl? I mean, why does it look like there's not much in there? That is a ton of calories for not that much food. I mean, a Big Mac is only like 590 calories. Okay, so really quickly, let's do a taste test. That's good. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know we've moved on, but I just cannot get past the 930 calorie pasta. She could have got some fettuccine alfredo from Olive Garden and it's only 80 calories more. Like that just seems like a waste. I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe it's super delicious and worth it, but geez. So I'm going to easily give this like an 8.5 out of 10. I'm going to go eat this. Oh, I need a drink. Hold on. Remember last week when she was giving everything a 10 out of 10? That tells me that pasta is not as good as she's trying to convince us it is. So I'm going to be having a water and a diet green tea Lipton mixed berry. So good. Girl, if you don't stop gulping on camera, it's bad enough we have to watch you eat. I always shake the tea before I uh, drink it because there's usually just like some stuff down there. Are you sure it's not mold? You guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I cannot eat any more of this. I'm not used to eating things like this anymore. It's just like very rich. It's delicious, but like my stomach is like, girl, no more. So I'm not gonna eat the rest of that, but I'm still gonna consider it the full amount of calories. Okay, but why? Isn't this supposed to be like her quote unquote cheat day? Why would she count all those calories if she didn't even finish it all? I very much like to overestimate things just in case. In case of what? But I don't think I'm going to be eating for a hot minute because like I'm telling you, my stomach doesn't feel the greatest after eating that. See, this is why it feels so much better to not have days where I eat things like that. Twinkie looks so cute. Speaking of Twinkie, you guys wanted an update on her. She's doing amazing. She took all her antibiotics. She no longer has any abscess. Okay, this did not sound right to me, so I googled it, and it turns out that tooth abscesses don't just go away. The pain might go away because when you're taking the antibiotics, the infection clears up, but the abscess still needs to be treated, so I hope she didn't just think that because Twinkie's no longer in pain that the problem is solved. A lot of people were asking, I know this is, like, I should probably talk about this in a vlog, but since I'm here... Um, a lot of people were like, why didn't you take her to a primary vet? He does have one here. It's just I couldn't get her in in an emergency. So I had to go somewhere else. So I had that's why I had to go to an emergency vet. Because when I called, they were like, yeah, we can see her in a few days. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like I want like I was so worried. I want her to be seen like now. So then that's when they recommended the emergency vet that I actually went to, which I loved. And by the way, the vet was a subscriber. Hello, if you're watching. And they didn't actually tell me until after everything was said and done, which I thought was like very professional. And they were just like, I love you. I know who you are. And I was like, oh my God. So she saw me like cry for Twinkie because like when I had to sign this like paper for Twinkie to be sedated, like I literally had like a tear come down. She had a tear come down guys, just a single one though. Because it scared me because it's like I had to sign if I wanted them to like help her breathe if she stopped breathing or anything like that. And I'm like, uh, yes. And then I told my mom actually when we were leaving, I was like, I have met a lot of subscribers, like easily over 100, like easily. None of them has met Twinkie besides one. So yeah, she was just super sweet and she loved Twinkie so much and she was just so kind and helpful. But yeah, Twinkie is doing amazing. Uh, she doesn't say anything about taking Twinkie to get the abscess taken care of. Oh, that kind of scares me. Amber Lynn, if you're watching, take her to her regular vet and get the abscess checked out. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is a serving of these rice cakes, which is 30 grams. Sorry to have that measured. You actually get a lot for a serving, not gonna lie. I don't know, guys. My idea of a cheat day looks a lot more fun than this. And then I will be having six of these olives. One of them is 25 calories. Then I'm just having one pack. This pack, I just have it opened. It's just some salami sticks, which look like that. 
They're actually super good. Okay, so last minute I decided to just have four olives because I realized that they're pretty big. They're stuffed with garlic and jalapeno. So for this plate, it does come out to 350 calories. Aw, look, she made a charcuterie board. Honestly, this looks like a pretty good snack. Honestly, this salami, I know it looks weird, but it's the best texture and it tastes so good. And you really do get a lot of these little thingies. And you guys know that I love a crunch. All right, so next thing I'm having are two of these pulled pork tamales. It's 340 for one of them. So 680 for two, which so far I've had 1,960 calories today. Wow, so she's almost at 2,000 calories and I really feel like she didn't eat that much. All right, so here it is finished. So let's do a taste test. I'm hoping that it's good. I do love me a tamale. That's tasty. That might be a 10 out of 10 for me. I do love Tapatio, you guys know me. Like, Tapatio girly pop. So, I do wanna try it with tap. Do what now? I do wanna try it with tap. Nope, see, what we're not gonna do is we are not gonna start calling it tap. Stop trying to make tap happen. A lot of people ask why I like Tapatio so much. I actually grew up with it. I've just used it as my go-to hot sauce. Since I was literally like eight years old. I did have a sriracha era, but I love Tapatio. Yep. So we're about to. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so with this, I am just having a mini can of Sprite Zero. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is this Trader Joe's mac and cheese. It is only 270 calories. So I have had this before, so no taste test, but this is delicious and I definitely recommend it. So I'm gonna go warm this up in the microwave and enjoy. See, I'd rather have that than that first pasta dish, whatever that was that she made. And it's like a quarter of the calories. So I forgot to show it, but with my mac and cheese, I'm having a sparkling ice in black raspberry. This one is so freaking good. Y'all, I am so tired. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my gosh. I took my melatonin, which this is the best. It's the brand Ollie. It's the sleep. I just get it from Target. I'm sure you can get it anywhere, but I'm so tired. Wow. And I forgot to end this vlog. I had about 2,200 calories today. So I definitely was successful in staying under my 2,500. I mean, considering that she didn't eat all of the first meal, she probably actually stayed under the 2,000 that she usually has. So not much of a typical cheat day, but honestly, like, good for her. She was able to eat what she wanted and still stay under her calories. So good job. And by doing that, I allowed myself to have some of the foods that I probably wouldn't have had if I was eating like a healthier day, which is when I stay below 2000. So it's been working for me and I think that's all that matters. You know, there was a moment today where I was like, damn, I want takeout so bad, but I ignored it. So this is where the cheat day ends and I'm getting back to below 2000 calories tomorrow. And if you guys did make it this far, here's a secret weigh-in. I weighed in today at 488.0. So it is the lowest that I have weighed in a hot minute. And yeah, I'm just like really proud of myself and I just want to keep it up. Obviously, I'm not doing perfect by no means, but I've definitely made a lot of improvement and I have room to grow and be better. But I'm about to take off this hair makeup. I'm about to shower. I'm about to put my hair up and then I'm about to go to bed because I am super tired. I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, so that was our weekly catch up in the Amberlynn world. And I feel like she's doing pretty good. I mean, call me naive, but if she's losing weight and keeping it up, good for her. I mean, that's really all we can ask. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. I know you have a ton of thoughts and opinions, and I hope you share them with me down below in the comments. Also, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so.